So don't reach out to them because they'll probably entertain the conversation. And guess what? They're going to do the same thing again. They're going to do it to you again. That's the thing about ghosters. Ghosters going to ghost. Hello and welcome back to my space or welcome for the first time to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. Today we're going to talk about how to handle getting ghosted. It's happened to all of us. We've all been there. Nobody is immune to this. That, it sucks, okay? It's never fun. When you get ghosted, when someone just disappears from your life, it leaves you just like questioning your entire sanity. You don't know what you did wrong. You don't know whether you should text them to ask. You know, if you text them, that might make you look a little, ah. And it's, it's, so, it's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. And I want to help you today figure out some ways to kind of cope with it. Because really, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bad thing for someone to do to us. But it is so common that I think we should have some very standard things to, um, to really help better prepare ourselves for it and, and to handle it when it happens so that we can better care for our own mental health because that's what it's all about. Let's go. Let's get into it. The first, like, I guess, um, tip I would give, and it seems obvious, but really resist the urge to chase this person, okay? They were in your life and they meant something to you at one point and now it's different. They've just changed and you're wondering what you did wrong. I get it. But listen, you probably didn't do anything wrong or maybe you did, but don't chase them. This person is telling you no, whether even though they're not saying the words no to you, their actions are. Their actions say no. Leave me alone. So uh, comply with that, please. Don't chase them. Avoid the urge to kind of like uh, troll them on the internet and stalk their social channels and all that good stuff. That's not healthy behavior. You want to allow them space and allow yourself space. Don't chase them, okay? They're telling you no. Listen to it. Okay, so now you're not chasing them. You've given yourself a moment of pause. You've given yourself some space. So understand you didn't do anything, okay? That says more about them than it does about you. Now, of course, um, there are obviously uh, insinuate there 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 are obviously situations that are uh, outside of the norm. Okay, people can be presenting a, an unsafe situation, or people can just feel like they can't face them for whatever reasons. But like either way, know that you didn't do anything wrong. If you weren't presenting those, if you weren't like that, if you're just like a just a regular person and you were ghosted, it's not your fault. Okay, it's not your fault. Okay. Now, in the same vein of it's not your fault, now that you're doing that introspection, I want you to stop dwelling on what you did wrong, okay? Stop dwelling on what you did wrong. Because remember, a moment ago, we just said you didn't do anything wrong. So the reason that they've ghosted you is not important, okay? You're gonna be thinking about this. You're gonna obsess over it. Try not to do that. That's not gonna get you anywhere because you know something at the end of the day, we don't have telepathy, you can't read their mind and if they're not talking to you, you can't force them to talk to you nor should you try. So stop obsessing over what it was, don't think about the reason, it doesn't matter, it's not. It's a moot point, just don't, don't go there, don't do it. Okay, so now that you're in the, the thick of the introspection and you're realizing that they're telling you no and they've, they've got their distance and you've had your moment of pause, now you're feeling maybe a little lonely or like you need that companionship, whatever it was, you wanna fill that void. Listen, okay. My personal suggestion is don't. Be single, be alone, be by yourself. That's my personal suggestion. That's what I would tell anybody. That's what I tell a good friend, okay? But everybody has their own thing they wanna do, okay? But what I would strongly encourage is to stay away from dating apps. Dating apps are gonna make it worse. Don't do it, you gotta hurt, you have a hurt heart and you don't want to just be blasting out to virtual space, just like harming and maybe being harmed more, making the situation worse. Take time to be by yourself, please. That's my the main encouragement, but stay away from dating apps right now. You've been ghosted, right? Stay away from dating apps. That's probably what got you into this mess. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to face reality. The reality is you don't have them in your life the way that you like them to be there. That's the reality. You need to internalize that. They're not there for you the way you need a person to be there for you. There is nothing wrong with how you need a person there for you. That person just isn't it. They're not the one. They're not the one. You really need to face reality. That is a fact. And the, the more you face it, the less hurt you'll be. Because it's not about you. 
your needs are perfectly valid. And I promise you have a whole cheering squad out there waiting for you. Your people are waiting for you. Just, you gotta like separate from that person that's kind of taking you for granted a little bit. So that last part was a little tough to hear, wasn't it? Awesome, maybe I hurt your feelings, cool. Feel those feelings. Right now is not the time to suppress how you feel. If you feel hurt, feel hurt. If you're angry, feel angry. It's again, really crummy to ghost someone. That's not fair, it's not mature, it's not fun. It's, it's just not a good time. So feel your feelings, please, and talk with someone about it. Like, have your feelings and talk with someone. Don't do anything irrational, but, but feel them. Don't suppress things, don't drink, don't do drugs, don't like do things that are gonna numb you. Feel your feelings, feel them, search them, search yourself. I think you'll, you'll come out of this fine. Okay, so I mentioned earlier, kind of like not like following them and don't keep up with them. All right, don't contact them, really. Don't contact them at all. Don't add them, Don't no, no time has gone by, No, it doesn't matter, enough time has not gone by. Don't try to add them, don't try to text them to see how they're doing. No, it doesn't matter how they're doing. They've ghosted you. They told you what they, they felt, they told you how they really truly viewed you. And it wasn't as much. They viewed you as pretty insignificant if they couldn't even talk with you. So don't reach out to them because they'll probably entertain the conversation and guess what? They're gonna do the same thing again. They're gonna do it to you again. That's the thing about ghosters. Ghosters don't stop ghosting. Ghosters gonna ghost, okay? Ghosters gonna ghost. I mentioned this kind of in passing earlier with feeling your feelings, but like really talk with someone. And when I say talk with someone, if you have the resources to go to therapy, please go to therapy, please. Therapy's expensive, not everybody has that kind of capability. Honestly, I don't really have the capability right now to go to therapy, so lean into your loved one. Now don't, um, you know, depend on them for all of your emotional like support. You need to be self-sufficient and independent as well. But like go to those people you trust, go to those people you know you could be vulnerable with. And if you don't have them, seek them out. You can find them. I've talked about it before on like uh, on previous videos, like TikTok is a great resource for finding friends. Those hashtags will do you wonder. Google some nice hashtags for either Instagram or TikTok to find friends and speak with someone. There are whole groups on Facebook for just venting, for just talking about your feelings and people that are literally way to talk with someone about how they're feeling so that they can help or listen. I promise there are people out there, there are free resources out there. Don't make it more complicated than it really is. Talk with somebody. Finally, you just wanna prioritize your self-care. Right now, you really just gotta prioritize you. It's a real huge blow to the ego when someone says, eh, I'm not gonna ever talk to them ever again and I'm also never gonna tell them that I'm never gonna talk to them again. That's a, that's a blow to the ego, that sucks, man. You can get through this. Prioritize your self-care, whether that means, you know, getting to bed a little early, getting more sleep or uh, working out or maybe hanging out with friends or, you know, working on that project that you put off. Focus on you. Focus on the things that bring you joy. Focus on the things that make you happy. I'm so sorry you've been ghosted. If you're watching this video and that person that told you they weren't going to do it, they assured you they weren't going to do it, then they got what they wanted, then they left. I'm sorry. That happens. People are crummy. They are. But you know something? You're powerful. You're wonderful. You're a beautiful, amazing soul, and you deserve the best, and you'll get the best. Hang in there. I believe in you. Thank you. That's the end of this video. I appreciate you watching this long. If you've stuck around, um, I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment below. Say, I subscribed. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, I post new content every Sunday and Thursday. You are beautiful. You are powerful. We attract love, light, peace, safety, and security. I will post more soon. Talk to you later.